Hi, I'm Dr. Singhania from Singhania Clinic and I'm going to talk about treatment for anxiety disorders. Importantly, how to identify behavior inhibition, help the child before it becomes full-blown anxiety. Of course, prevention is better than cure and having appropriate parenting styles is important. So these are some of the tips we have for parents. One is not to be hypercritical and have too many high expectations and put pressure on the children. Always look for positives don't be negative or reprimand often for no for trivial reasons give them a chance to succeed by putting them in situations which ensures success and this is especially true of the behaviorally inhibited child you know give them a chance to succeed in things which are easy for them do not use put downs to make a point do not shame the child of course physical punishments are not to be used at all teaching them to express anger and grief encouraging exploration giving them choices and providing a safe and stable environment makes the child resilient in fact resilience training is a very important aspect aspect of preventing anxiety in children. But once the child has developed anxiety disorder, there are several strategies uh, open to us. One is of course the cognitive behavior psychotherapy where the child has given strategies on how to deal with anxiety. The child is allowed to express his anxiety in a safe environment. Then there is exposure-based strategies or systematic desensitization. In this, the child is the anxiety producing situation is broken down into steps and then as the child goes down each step the child is uh, taught relaxation uh, techniques so that the child gets desensitized to that whole episode step by step for example if a child is afraid of school and afraid of going to malls but going to malls is not as frightening as going to school so the first the child is exposed to going to malls maybe going just waiting outside the mall then going into the mall for five minutes and 15 minutes once the anxiety of that is gone then the child is exposed to school in the same similar steps contingency management means identifying the factors which can be in increasing anxiety and trying to modify them and then of course pharmacotherapy. There are other strategies like massage, yoga, teaching child meditation, mindfulness. Mindfulness is a very nice way both for parents and children to reduce anxiety. Music, herbal preparations like valerian, teaching appropriate parenting techniques as well as resilience in the child. Some kids may need academic interventions. They may be clever. They may have no learning problems, but they may have slow processing speed. So such children should be given extra time to complete their tasks. Social skills training should also be given. So how to make friends, maintain friends in a simple way. Marital therapy. Many parents who are having conflict will affect the child and cause anxiety in them. Anger coping and assertive training or other strategies. If you are seeking help, please visit our website www.singhaniaclinic.com or call us on the number shown below. Thank you for watching.